welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ramchandar. In this video, I am going to discuss about a very important point related to default methods in Java 1.8. What is that? How to work with default methods in multiple inheritance? Basically, Java does not support multiple inheritance through classes but we can achieve through interfaces. Our intention is not simply multiple inheritance, default method with multiple inheritance. How can we overcome this problem? Observe here. What is exactly the concept is? For example, there are two interfaces. One is i, another one is j. And both are having what here? Default methods like i having m1 method, j having m1 method. If there is a class like a which implements what i comma j, then what happen from i m1 method implementation coming as well as from j m1 method implementation is coming to what here a. Then both the different method name is same but it implementations are what different. Then definitely compiler will raise one error what is that ambiguity problem. Then how can we resolve this problem? See observe here. Let me show you. There are two interfaces, one and second one. This interface name is what i, this interface name is what j, and here we have a default method. Here we have a default method like m1 skeleton code, just do not ask about uh, okay return type and everything. So, let me write there is a method open and closed parenthesis open and closed curly braces also control A control C and here control V. So, both the interfaces having what are same methods. Now, there is a class like A which implements what i comma j. This is what exactly syntax of what multiple inheritance through interface. Now, what happen here two methods we will get in the A. One is M1 method from I, another one is what M1 method from J. Then two logics are available. Then if you are calling any M1 method from A class object, then definitely it will showing what your error. Then how can we overcome this problem? Observe. Let me show you this one programmatically. There is one interface. There is one interface like a square, okay. In the square we have, in the square we have one default method, public default and what is that void, void, cal, my method name is cal in tx having one parameter, having one parameter. Here I am writing like. Here I am writing like system dot out dot print ln the square of a the square of a given number is what is that x into x x into x now ended curly break parenthesis and semicolon. Now, in the same manner, I am taking, in the same manner, I am taking one more interface that is what cube, that is what here cube. Now, here I am writing like the cube of a given number is x into x into x. My method still, method name is what here? Cal. If any class like a which implements square comma cube then definitely we will get error. Error it will display under the A. Now, what is that error? Default methods named call with parameter of int are inherited from the types like what? Cube and square. So, same method but different logics. If you are committed, if you are commented these two methods if you are commented these two methods, there is no error in the 11th line. If you are observe carefully side of the 11th line, 
now I'm going to uncommented and save it. Now it will giving what er error. That means some ambiguity problem. How can we overcome this ambiguity problem? Very simple, very simple by overriding method. But don't use default here. The reason is default methods are not allowed in class as well as what abstract class. Now simply I'm giving one implementation this is implementation implementation of a class this is implementation of a class then that is a non static method call is the non static method of a class then how can we call it by creating an object a obj equal to new a and this is what your m1 method not m1 method this is what cal method now i'm passing like 100 now ended with the semicolon just I am checking whether that value is coming to where x or not by printing x value. Now if you observe the output then you will get output like this is implementation. This is implementation of class A and what is the value 100. But my intention is I do not want to provide the implementation. I do not want to executing my A class implementation. I want to executing only square related implementation square interface then what should we do square dot super dot what is that call of 150 square dot super of call of 150 what happened for okay let me give some small number for calculation 50 into 50 2500 now it will executing the square of a given number is 2500 number. So this statement is executing how the control is going from a class call method to square interface default method like a call. Now if you want both just uncommented one. If you uncommented that first statement you will get implementation class a class implementation as well as what square in interface default method implementations also. Now, if you are calling like a cube, if you are calling like a cube dot super dot cal of 10, then what happened? This will call cube interface call method and by passing 10, now it will showing like what here? 1000, 10 into 10 into 10. So, if both the interfaces having same default methods and if your class implements what here both the interfaces by using multiple inheritance concept definitely we are going to face some ambiguity problem by compiler to avoiding that problem we should override cal method and if you are overriding only cal method what happened cal method will executing but we can't access what uh, square interface default method as well as cube interface default method if you want to access square interface default method as well as cube related uh, default methods what we need to do we should call again by using what square dot super dot call as well as cube dot super dot call okay this is the way we can work with the default methods in multiple inheritance i hope you understand this video perfectly for more videos please subscribe to channel thank you